Tonight, a disturbance in the Caribbean is getting closer to showing signs of development. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari has been tracking this potential system all night long. Natalie, the odds just got higher for this storm to become a tropical depression. Truly within the next 48 hours, we were looking a little bit closer to a 70 than 80% chance within the next two days that we'd be dealing with the depression tonight as of 8 o'clock this evening. A 90% chance, not only over the next five days, but really over the next two days, that puts it as a depression likely by this weekend. That's kind of what we need to happen. We got to get that area of circulation, that center to really form so that way we can get those models to dive in and give us a better idea of what on earth is this invest going to do because I know that has been the biggest question for the last couple of days. Now this is invest 98 L. This is basically a disorganized area of thunderstorm activity with a region in the Caribbean that has a potential for development. It's this hatched red area. It can kind of fall anywhere within that region and turn into a tropical cyclone within that time frame in that region. But I do think this is going to easily happen probably within the next 24 hours. I will tell you some of the latest radar loops, especially through this evening, have really picked up on some convection kind of blowing up from this area of thunderstorm activity. Originally, you just really couldn't find anything in there. There was just not a whole lot going on, and there's been a lot of shear this thing has been battling, but I will tell you, it's moving into an environment in the Caribbean that is more conducive of tropical development. It will make it easier for something to form. So that is what models are really starting to agree on through the central portions of the Caribbean. Notice how that spread starts to really start to widen, especially south of Jamaica. I think once this actually moves near Jamaica, we're going to get a better idea of what's going to happen in the Gulf of Mexico. But then let me take you through early next week. Those track models, especially over the next couple of days, I say models as far as some of the latest runs have been pushing a little bit more to the east. We have a few driving mechanisms far up to the north, a trough that will try to pull it, but it depends on the timing. Will it try to pull it towards the Sunshine State? or will it try to push it more towards the central or eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico? Lots of factors to dive through, and we just really got to get some organization to know better as far as what's going to happen in the days ahead. Next name on the list is Hermine, but I'm telling you, there's another area in the tropics that may try to get to Ian first. We'll talk about that in a few moments.